Recently I was introduced to a coaching tool known as the balance wheel and I tried it out myself, I tried it together with my girlfriend and we both enjoyed the exercise, the tool very much and uh, so I decided to not only go through whatever I discovered personally in the process uh, but also just my insights and thoughts of why I feel it's it's a great tool to suggest you to try it out as well. So the balance wheel, it's a wheel actually, well this is how it looks. This is my girlfriend and me, we did it together. Uh, I'm obviously using editing magic, you're seeing the scores and everything on on the screen. So it's, it's basically a wheel, a circle where uh, there are different sections, career, money, health, family and friends, etc. And uh, you ask yourself, how satisfied are you in that particular field? And you give a number. And based on that number, you create, uh, you, you put a line or kind of a circular line. Um, and then at the end of the exercise, you, well, first of all, you see how bumpy, I think the one of the questions, whoever introduces the exercise, asks how bumpy would it be to, to use that type of wheel, you know, if it's really out of balance and then different shapes. Uh, but what it also does wonderfully, and it definitely did for me and my girlfriend, uh, it made me become more conscious about, you know, what aspects am I actually not as satisfied about? And to naturally uh, ponder and ask myself the question of what would make the difference like what would be what what could be the solution uh, the, the step the action which would take uh, and level up the number why am i not satisfied like it's just creates so much consciousness so much awareness that helps you navigate around your life and maybe understand better what am i not so happy about and where can i again what can i do about it to make it better and and also i, I read a bit more about the bounce wheel and there was a good question posed as well that it uh, it makes you ask so what number would actually satisfy me and, and why is that enough uh, so there's so many questions that naturally pop up and it just gives you such a great chance to basically just know yourself better understand yourself better and uh, potentially lead to action so that's that's kind of the the, the setup of the the balance wheel but I always whenever I share something it, it's always important for me to share from personal experience so to not be like oh, I will tell you what's right and what's wrong, but instead uh, to do this together, like like we're sitting here together, you know, drinking coffee by this by this tree and exploring my answers. So, you know, you, you would be encouraged to explore yours. So let's do this. So if we take a look at the, the wheel, um, starting off with, let's start with career. I don't know why I'm starting with career, but I guess that's the first one I filled up too, or that's the one which caught my eye. And both me and uh, my girlfriend, we chose pretty much the same number. She, she wrote three and a half, <laughs> which is even less. I wrote four. And that's if you're following this channel, if you're following this journey currently, you're not living in the future. You're not like in 2022, looking back and saying, oh, that's how Rokas was and now he's awesome. <laughs> but you know, you know that I am in a challenging life situation where I'm not happy with what's happening and, and, and it's really fascinating this part is fascinating because actually I'm checking the sound okay so uh, this part is really fascinating because technically my career is actually doing quite good like the martial arts journey YouTube channel has 100 my main channel my main YouTube channel has 135 hundred thousand subscribers it keeps getting regular views without any effort put in I receive a, a good enough good amount of money from it and it's just like it, you know on that level like I am creating influence I am having positive influence in people's uh, kind of martial arts journey so there, there's so much good stuff there but that's but I want more you know I, that's not what I want now it was satisfying before but now I'm in a space where if again you might you may know that already I want to create positive change outside of martial arts and uh, I'm not happy with the capacity of, of what I am capable of giving and that's why I'm so focused on learning right now and exploring and finding better tools, finding better answers and I feel like I'm not delivering the value that I want on the level that I want. You know, this journey is still just building up and I really am happy with the connection we have, you, you know, you and me as we're sitting here together uh, and the, the number of views I'm getting, you know, they're satisfying but, but I, my yearning is so much more bigger 
and I feel like I'm, I'm incapable of giving as much as I want. So all of that just makes me put a four. And if I talk about my girlfriend, she's a professional singer. She just finished her master's degree and, and she's actually, in my eyes, she's success, uh, successful. But uh, again, on her standards, that's the same thing. The same thing, I guess, it shows how much perception plays, how, how big of a part perception plays uh, a role in this is, you know, she doesn't feel successful and she doesn't, she's not having as many concerts as she would like to. She's not reaching as many people as she'd like to. So, so we're kind of in a similar situation here. So if we move on to money, uh, money for me, it's seven. I, I don't feel like I need a lot of money. I keep saying that I'm not a big spender. Uh, I earn uh, a decent amount, which is enough for me, but I didn't write, I didn't go for eight. So, so eight would be ideal for me. I don't need a nine or a 10 in my finances. I'm fine with an eight, but I chose seven because uh, as you see, my girlfriend's number is free. <laughs> you know, she's having a harder time with money. And so I want to have more money at the moment to support both, to be able to support myself and her, which she doesn't want but I want to have more money just in case. So that's why I want to earn a little bit more. I will focus a little bit on earn, earning more money and, and that's why it's a seven, not an eight. And for her, it's a free because again, as I said, she's she's not earning by far as much as she wants and not because she, she wants a lot and she's not earning much, but instead uh, she doesn't have like a, like a, like a source of income, which is, which is there all the time. Uh, let's say if she's having professional concerts, music concerts, they're irregular. You, you, you Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. So th that creates a level of uncertainty. So all of that, I don't want to speak too much for her. So I won't, I won't go there too much, but that's kind of the, the setup. If we look at health, I'm happy that we're both, I'm nine, she's eight. Uh, I think she probably wrote eight because she feels like she, she wants to become more sportive. I wrote nine because I don't know why not a ten. Like I'm not like I I'm not like all the time energetic. Probably that's the reason. But but I'm I haven't been sick for a long time. I feel good, so it's nine. I'm happy to sh to to see, be able to say that. Uh, family and friends. I, again, we, we we're quite, quite quite similar here. So I'm seven. She's six. Um, for me, family and friends. I was close to writing eight. I guess I felt seven because I haven't seen my parents for a little bit. And actually I did this circle at my parents' place, so I felt actually great. You know, I have a great relationship with my parents, I love my parents, but I, I, I didn't see them as often as I wanted to these last few months, so I guess maybe that lowered the number. And friends, I don't, like, I would be satisfied with an eight entirely. This is again, friends is not like an important part of my life. I appreciate friends and so on, but I don't feel that sense of, oh, I need to surround myself with friends and all the time meet them up and so on. I, I just feel like occasionally I like to, hang out with friends, but that's like, again, not a big priority in my life. Uh, and I don't like, these days I'm doing good. I live in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. I have a bunch of my old friends from old times and we meet up and this and that. So I feel fine. But again, like, I don't know, maybe an eight would be, you know, maybe having some friends, which we, we would have more like, we would meet up more constantly. And, and maybe those friends would be someone who I, I would be really like, you know, looking forward to meet. I, and, so I don't know, maybe maybe that's why it's a seven. For my girlfriend, it's a six because she's not from around. She's from a different city and most of her friends are there. Family as well. And again, I don't want to talk too much about friends for her, but basically, you know, she, she doesn't hang out with her friends as much as she'd like to. There's some family stuff as well. So it's a six. Love and romance. Again, happy wasn't like five and ten. I'm like, hey, I feel our relationship is awesome. And she's like, it's terrible. That would be a, a red flag. But no, actually, we're, I'm 10. She's 9. She was actually considering 10 as well. I was actually kind of, for a moment, I was thinking like, you know, I thought about writing 9, but I thought that's kind of more out of humility. Like, like I asked myself, so why, why shouldn't be, why it should not be a 10? And I just couldn't find a reason. Our relationship is doing really well. It's been a year that we're together really wonderful uh, lady that, that I'm spending time with. Uh, we, we barely have, you know, we, we very rarely we have like, like uh, clashes and we work both hard on our relationship. So it's just like, I have no complaints. Uh, I mean, you know, there's always like, if I would like to complain about something, there's always something I would find, but there's nothing which is like deeply in me where I'm like upset. 
so yeah, it's a 10. And I'm really happy about that. And for her, it's a nine because it's, it's a discussion we have sometimes. I, t I keep telling her, we're actually, you don't realize that we actually have conflicts very rarely compared to most couples. But she had less relationships than I had. She has less relationship experience. So sometimes she thinks that like if we, if we have a clash once per month, she thinks that's a lot. She, she thinks that's significant. And I'm telling you, this is nothing. So I think just because of that doubt, hesitation, she wrote nine. <laughs> now, personal growth, I am at a solid nine uh, because... As you may know, I'm really focused on learning these days. I'm all about going mad and nuts with learning and reading books and, and writing journals, exploring, and, and I'm enlisted on a eight month coaching course. So there's so much happening. There's so much I'm investing in, in personal growth. So, so yeah, it's like I have no trouble with it. It's not a 10 just because I recognize that there's ways to go still and I wanted to respect that, but, but that, that's the only reason for her it's a six. She feels like she wants to learn more, uh, like she wants to spend more time uh, developing her singing skills and so on, and she feels like she didn't do that as much as she wants to, so that's why it's a six. Fun and recreation, we both wrote seven, and we actually kind of both, I think we both feel fine at seven. Like eight would be like over the board for me at least, because I don't focus, I do feel like sometimes I do I do appreciate fun and recreation because then I realize that you know I, I spend so much time so much time working and learning especially these days that it's important to sometimes counter it and balance it but uh, we actually both spend most of our fun and recreation together with my girlfriend so I think that's why it's a seven seven we like watch TV shows together we, you know go out and have like 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 a glass of wine somewhere or some nice lunch or or just you know we we, we do some stuff together and it's both satisfying for for both of us and we feel good at it so it's like seven is actually enough because i also realized that i also maintain a philosophy that uh if you want to achieve a great amount a great deal of things it's important to sacrifice a little bit of, of, of stuff too. And I'm okay at sacrificing a little bit of friends. I'm okay with sacrificing a little bit of fun and recreation. So it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm set for that. You know, I'm like, okay with S7, both in there and there. And physical environment, uh, again, very similar. I just realized, man, we have very similar circles besides money. <laughs> so physical environment for me, it's a four. For her, it's a four and a half. Uh, and that's because we live in an apartment. For me, it's because we share our apartment. So there's uh, like there's three rooms in the apartment and there's two other people living in, in the two other rooms. Our room is quite tiny. It's an old house. It's, it's lovely and it's, it's not less than four because it's in the middle of the city center, which is amazing to have that luxury. Uh, but it's an old house, not a lot of space. Uh, we don't have enough space for all our stuff. So there's things like that where it's like, it's not like this, this apartment where you come back and you're like, oh, I feel so good to be here. It's more like, it's cozy, it's cute, artistic, but it's not ideal. So we're both kind of recognizing that. But at the same time, we, we, we discussed about our circles together. And for both of us, uh, we realized that uh, we actually, at the same time, we pay uh, uh, an abs absurdly low amount of money for for our rent, considering that we live in a city center of capital. And so we really appreciate that aspect. And we both want to make sure we are not spending too much money right now. And it's the city center. So there's so much good stuff there that, that it's a four, but we're none of us, uh, neither of us is complaining about that or neither of us is upset about that. We're not rushing to change that. We're much more focused on... We, we want to in, invest our energy into improving our careers. You know, she's, she's focused on improving her monetary situation, her, her personal growth. We want to invest our energy and focus on, on those things which matter. And for us, the physical, for me, the physical environment was never really that important. I lived in a bunch of weird, crazy places. I, I slept once in India in a public, public bathroom. I spent the night there and it was fine for me. I guess I do feel like I'm getting older. I actually just turned 31 yesterday as I'm recording this video. Congratulations, happy birthday, Rokas. So uh, having, yeah, so I do feel like I am getting a bit older and a bit more picky, like like 
part of me does want to move to a place which would be not a shared space, which would be more kind of my space. But at the same time, it's not a big priority. So if, if that opportunity happens, I'll, I'll be like, okay, let's do this, but I'm not in a rush. So that's how the wheel of the bounce wheel looks on my end. Uh, try it out. I'm going to leave a link below on where to find this example and explanation. Uh, check it out. Do it. Let me know in the comments, you know, how, how it goes for you. Uh, I found it a, to be a really nice tool. And I hope also to just, just hearing me, you know, sharing a, an honest exploration of my wheel may be encouraging for you to try it out as well. So that's the most I can help for, hope for. So let's connect up in the comments and I'll see you next time.